dating will be vastly different in two decades. Instead of trudging outside in sub-zero temperatures to meet that awkward Tinder date, we'll be able to put on VR headsets and meet our date in some exotic location, all while still in our pajamas. Many of us will also most likely be committed to people we've never met or who don't exist at all. Does that sound crazy? Hello and welcome to Robot Future, where we fill you in on every thrilling discovery and mind-blowing insight in the world of robots, AIs, and future technology. So consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification for a ton of exciting content coming your way. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. Today in this video, we're going to explore how dating with female humanoid robots became a reality as well as some of the best dating robots in the world. Stay with us till the end and subscribe for more amazing content like this. Fedor. The acronym Fedor stands for Final Experimental Demonstration Object Research. So Fedor the robot is another name for it. It's a humanoid robot from Russia. Android Technics manufactures it. After Kirobo, Fedor is the only robot to spend 10 days assisting astronauts on the International Space Station. Fedor, a robot launched in 2015, underwent several upgrades until 2019. Fedor, originally known as Robot Avatar, was designed for rescue missions. It's capable of mimicking the movements of anyone wearing a robotic exoskeleton suit. The robot can fire handguns, do push-ups, manage social media accounts, and drive a car, among other things. The robot's specifically designed to assist astronauts and provide astronaut functions. There's a similar robot to Fedor named THR3, which was introduced by Toyota in 2017. Destiny Yet another robot on our list is Destiny, which impresses everyone with its amazing features. Destiny is a developing age-friendly humanoid robot that will take AI and robotics to new heights. The creators of Destiny promised to deliver next-generation robots capable of interacting with humans on a much deeper level than is currently possible. Its goal is to enable AI to become more general rather than to perform specific tasks. At the same time, Destiny Robotics' mission is to make robots accessible to an increasing number of people. Destiny is a one-of-a-kind blend of artificial intelligence, robotics, engineering, art, and design. Her appearance differs from that of other robots because she has human-like skin, the ability to communicate, and the ability to express emotions. It establishes a standard for human-robot interaction, making communication more organic and natural. Destiny intends to be the first humanoid robot household assistant. Nadine Nadine, the only friendly and social robot. A gynoid robot is what it is. Nadine's body features are based on Professor Nadia M. Thalman. Kokoro Japan created it in 2013. It's said to be the successor of Handsome Robotics' Robot Eva, which was created in 2008. The Nadine software platform was created by Institute for Media Innovation at Nanyang University in Singapore. Nadine has strong human-like characteristics, such as natural-looking skin and hair. In addition, it can answer multiple questions in different languages and can remember people based on previous conversations. The robot is very social and can respond to the following questions. Its personality can shift depending on the conversation. With 27 degrees of freedom, the robot can freely move its upper body and display a variety of facial expressions. In addition, it can recall specific facts and events related to each individual. Nadine was created using cutting-edge robotics. It's outfitted with 3D depth cameras, a microphone, and a webcam to collect inputs. The robot is intended to serve as a receptionist or personal coach. It can assist people with special needs by reading books for them, sending emails, and participating in Skype sessions. Amica Engineered Arts Amica Engineered Arts' latest and most advanced humanoid robot is billed as a development platform for testing AI and machine learning systems. Amica interacts with humans naturally and detects emotions and age thanks to sensors that track movement across a room and face and multiple voice recognition capabilities. In addition, Amica can communicate common expressions such as astonishment and surprise, as well as gestures such as yawning and shrugging. Junko Chihira Assume you're a tourist in Japan looking for information from the local tourist information center. Junko Chihira, a humanoid robot working in Aqua City Odaiba, a shopping center on Tokyo's waterfront, may be able to answer your questions. She's a humanoid robot created by Toshiba using technology developed by Hiroshi Ishigura, an Osaka robotics researcher. Junko Chihira was created by Toshiba using various advances in artificial intelligence. 
She's equipped with speech synthesis technology and natural language processing, allowing her to correctly understand and respond to tourist questions. She's known for having exceptional social skills and a wide range of facial expressions. She can greet visitors in Japanese, English, and Chinese, making communication much easier. Junko is also equipped with sign language to assist deaf tourists. Kanai Chihira, Junko Chihira's advanced version, can be programmed to speak any language. In addition, Kanai Chihira has much smoother movements and intelligence because she was specifically designed for the tourism and travel industry. Asimo. Asimo is a humanoid robot created by Honda in Japan in 2000. Honda began developing humanoid robots in 1986 and debuted its first masterpiece in 1993. Later, on October 31st, 2000, the company unveiled Asimo, its first humanoid. The acronym Asimo stands for Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility. The name was also chosen in honor of Isaac Asimo. The robot's currently on display at Maraiken Museum in Tokyo, Japan. The robot's 130 centimeters tall and 54 kilometers in weight. It has a 51.8 volt lithium battery with a one hour backup. A stacked die, a processor, a signal converter, and a memory cell are also included. Asimo is a robot that can recognize moving objects, postures, gestures, sounds, faces, and surroundings. It can also tell the difference between faces and voices. It's intended to assist the people. It has the ability to run, dance, hop, and play soccer. Asimo is a robotic ambassador who has made several public appearances to excite humans about robotics. Honda worked extensively on the robot after 2000, but in 2018, the company announced that it would discontinue further research on the technology in order to maximize the robot's lifespan. Jiajia, University of Science and Technology of China. Jiajia, created by researchers at China's University of Science and Technology, is the country's first humanoid robot. Jiajia was developed over three years by researchers. According to The Independent, Chen Xiaoping, who led the team behind Jiajia, told reporters during Jiajia's 2016 unveiling that he and his team would soon work to make Jiajia capable of crying and laughing. According to Mashable, its human-like appearance was inspired by five USTC students. Sophia did you believe that only humans could be granted citizenship in a country? That's no longer the case. Sophia, a humanoid robot created by the Hong Kong-based Hanson's Robotics, was the first robot to be granted citizenship in any country. Sophia is now a Saudi Arabian citizen, and she's a very popular robot. She was created to resemble Audrey Hepburn, a well-known Hollywood actress, and has appeared in interviews with the United Nations, The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon in America, the British Broadcasting Company, and others. Mr. Hansen, Sophia's creator, believes she will be ideal as an elderly companion in nursing homes, a crowd manager at large events or parks, and so on. In short, he hopes Sophia will eventually develop enough social skills to interact convincingly with humans. These capabilities are built into Sophia through the use of neural networks, expert robotic systems, natural language processing, machine perception, motor control, and other technologies. For example, she employs machine perception to recognize human faces, as well as understand various emotional expressions and hand gestures. Following that, various path planning algorithms are used to control her hands, eyes, legs, and so on. Finally, Sophia employs natural language processing to interact with various people and respond appropriately, which is extremely useful in interviews. All of these interactions are saved on a cloud network, allowing for easy conversation analysis using blockchain technology. Surprisingly, these ultra-realistic robots resemble humans. Although their behavior still needs to be improved to be completely human-like, it's clear that teaching social and relational learning to robots is possible. This may improve the future as artificial intelligence advances. What do you think about these dating female humanoid robots who are also pleasure robots? Let us know in the comment section below and subscribe for more.